What happens when an appraisal comes in below agreed upon value? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with uh, eXp Realty. We're here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage. And make sure that you stick around to the end of the video to find out what we're going to do with $1,000. So, Jason, first off, tell me what exactly is an appraisal? Uh oh, an appraisal is essentially what we do to cert lenders to certify the value. Obviously, we want to make sure that we're lending the right amount on a market value that's been certified by a third party. Okay, so what happens? Is this deal completely dead if that value that has been certified by that third party yep. comes in below agreed upon value? So let's just make up some numbers. Let's say we were under agreement for five hundred thousand sure. dollars. Yep. Appraisal came in at four eighty. Are we done? No. No, the good news is no. I mean, obviously it depends, and I could talk for hours upon the you know the, the differences, but it really just means that we kind of go back to the negotiation table. Okay, so if, what's my first option? The first option for the buyer, and I think we're right. talking about the buyer here in this sense, is that they obviously could just make up the difference in cash. Okay. If so, they have the ability to do so. So first option, make up that difference in cash, mm -hmm. but it doesn't always necessarily mean that I have to bring the cash. Like in that case, the 480 to 500. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean I have to bring the five, the tw extra yeah, 20, 20 grand. grand. No, no, of course no. not. And it, again, what I meant by the differences is obviously one, you know, one client or one borrower could put down 5% and one could put down 50%. The guy who's putting down 50% has a lot more options and it's not really going to impact the financing as much. So we're going to talk to each individual on a different So he can, he can restructure the deal a little bit. Of course. Probably not bring that 20,000, but like sure. I said, the guy who's putting 5% down probably would have to come Then we'd have to have make up the difference or we could talk about, you know, renegotiation with the, with the right. buyer and the seller. Well, and, and so that, that's, that's option two, of right? Course. So yep. where in that case, the seller Seller would go down to four hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Yes, right? or and they would, just, or you would, as you know, you would go back to that listing agent and say, "Hey, this is what we have. This is the appraisal. Right. What do you think?" Depending on the market and who has kind of more leverage in that situation, but hopefully, as we've seen in the past, most parties come together, and what usually happens is they meet in the middle, right? right. So, you know, so option one is I, you know, I as the buyer come to the table with twenty thousand dollars. Just make up the difference. Option two is the seller comes down twenty thousand dollars, so that four hundred and eighty thousand dollar example, yep. right? Yep. Or option three is. Maybe Maybe we meet in the middle or something else. Maybe it's four ninety. I bring ten grand, 10 and, 10 and, and and the seller comes down ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And then I yep. I think the fourth option is well we can't make this work. So you know have a nice day. We, we can walk and, away, and walk right? Away, and and right. usually you try to get that before the you know right after the purchase and sale, so you have some flexibility there. Right. Okay. So make sure that you stick around. Um, and, and and check out our videos what actually happens when appraisal comes in above agreed upon price this is what happens when the value comes in below agreed upon price and what are we going to do with that thousand dollars so but first jason where can they find you uh jason bonario rms mortgage uh 617-413-5038 and I'm Jeff Chubb, uh, my team, the Chubb Homes team, we're brokered by eXp Realty, 617-480-2600, or find us online at boston2.com. So the $1,000, make sure that you hit subscribe below, because when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give $1,000 to the ASPCA, kind of save some puppies, that's the good thing. So good make thing. sure you hit subscribe below and share with your friends who might be thinking about buying or selling a house, and, and feel free to reach out to us with, well, all of your real estate questions. Thanks for watching.